Network for Animals works 365 days a year, helping animals around the world. This dog is about to give birth. We are on the ground in 25 countries funding animal welfare projects, providing medicines and veterinary care, feeding the starving, fighting cruelty and working to improve animal welfare laws. Our team was viciously attacked while trying to help donkeys on the Greek island of Santorini. Uh, if we ever came back, they would definitely kill us. We exposed the horrific situation where abused donkeys are forced to repeatedly carry tourists up and down a thousand foot cliff without water, food or shelter. Many of the animals had large open sores. Our campaign alerted people to the cruelty and the number of tourists riding donkeys in Santorini dropped substantially. A weapon pressed against a donkey's head, a bang and darkness. Through videos like this, Network for Animals succeeded raising public awareness about the massive worldwide trade in donkey skins for the Chinese markets, a crisis that is seeing donkeys being wiped out. We rescued donkeys from the trade in South Africa and Zimbabwe and provided financial aid to two donkey sanctuaries there. We expanded our fight to improve conditions for street dogs around the world and to give them on the ground help with food and medical care taking our work to countries where animals are in shocking need. In Greece, in partnership with Ghost Dogs of Aspropagus, Network for Animals provides funding for food and veterinary care for hundreds of dogs near Athens. Network for Animals persuaded the authorities in Nixich, Montenegro's second largest town, to stop killing shelter dogs once the cages were full. We are helping expand the shelter providing fencing, water tanks and kennels, and working on providing a fully equipped animal clinic. In Montevideo, Uruguay, Network for Animals supports an animal shelter called APA El Refugio, home to many older street dogs with special needs. We have made it possible for crippled dogs to run again by providing them with wheelchairs, and we pay for much needed medicines. In the Philippines, we play a leading role in the fight against the illegal dog meat trade and have massively reduced the number of illegal slaughterhouses and restaurants that serve dog. In Japan, we support the heroic efforts of Naoto Matsumura, who every day feeds animals in the radioactive zone near the Fukushima nuclear reactor disaster site. In Jordan, we exposed the attempt to massacre all Jordan street dogs and the government stepped in and stopped it. We work with the Al Rahman Animal Shelter near Amman to rescue street dogs, spay and neuter them and give them medical care. In South Africa, Network for Animals supports two Cape Animal Shelters that work in difficult and dangerous township areas. This is one of the most dangerous areas in Cape Town. Just the other day, this very street was closed because there was a drive-by shooting. Sunday passed, so a guy was shot 14 times in the like We provide financial help and undertake search and rescue missions for abused dogs. We also provide food, medical equipment and logistical help. In Hangburg, a dangerous slum area, Network for Animals finances a community outreach program run by a remarkable man called Shagem Newman. With help from us, Shagem has organized a group of young township children to care for the area's street dogs. We got Shagem's crew! They call themselves Shagem's crew and have dramatically improved living conditions for virtually all of the street dogs who live there. Shagem just won the annual Brian Davies Award. You're going to get $10,000 to help the animals. It's my life, animals strictly. Animals is my number one. Network for Animals continue the massive challenge of helping thousands of street dogs who live in a rural area around Tavshanli in Western Turkey. The dogs live in terrible conditions, surviving by eating chicken carcasses dumped by chicken batteries to use in manufacturing fertilizer. The fertilizer pollutes the streams the dogs drink from, causing illness and death. No care was provided by local authorities and laws are not enforced.
Network for Animals has provided emergency food relief and is lobbying government to improve conditions. But stand by for a shock. We exposed the terrible truth about canned lion hunting in South Africa and seek to engage government to end this cruel and inhuman horror. In the Philippines, working with law enforcement, Network for Animals has made massive progress in reducing the number of illegal horse fights in the country. Since our involvement, the number has dropped by 50% and is still falling. Everywhere Network for Animals work, we try to improve animal laws. In Montenegro, we financed a comprehensive review of government animal shelters. One of our team was then appointed to a government's working group on shelter management, giving animals a voice at the highest level. In South Africa, we provide practical help and solutions to help wildlife. Network for Animals is relocating elephant families to an area of South Africa where they were hunted to extinction 150 years ago and where they are now safe from poachers. We are helping to diversify the gene pool by moving elephants with big tusks to areas where elephants have lost the gene that creates tusks. Lastly, but very importantly, we educate children about the proper care of animals. As we celebrate the holiday season, please give a thought to the thousands of animals that need your help. Open your heart and donate to Network for Animals today.